at-home testing is, of course, uh, becoming more common as more um, testing options uh, for individuals at their home uh, become available. Um, the Omicron variant should be detected by rapid antigen tests and at-home tests. At least that's what our current evidence or data are telling us. The lab-based PCR tests are more sensitive. They're able to give us a, a broader window uh, of, of infection because they can detect lower amounts of the virus. So um, yes, the at-home tests are an option, but I'm recommending that those be used uh, in closer proximity to a gathering and also that they shouldn't be used in isolation as a sole way of mitigating risk. If you're gonna be performing an at-home test, try to do that the, the day of the event because that's gonna give you the best information whether someone has high amounts of the virus in their system at that time. The emergence of this new variant just continues to reinforce the importance of a few protective and precautionary measures that we've been talking about now for 20 months. First and foremost, the importance of vaccination and for those who have completed their vaccination to get a booster. Uh, if we can build up our walls of defense as high as possible and have levels of antibodies and levels of immunity within the general population, the chance of a virus uh, taking off like wildfire is, is significantly decreased. 